Perfect. All right. Good morning, beautiful people. Corey Dooley here. Backyard Fitness by Corey. So you got your weight. Um, this is going to be an all lower body workout today. So if you have a bench, a cooler, a couch, um, we're going to do some stuff where you do some calf raises on that. And we'll actually do toe taps on the bench as well. So remember, be respectful of yourself, mindful. Look to how you feel. And let's get this party started. All right, feet are nice and wide. I want you to shift to the right and then to the left. Toe and knee facing straight forward. Feel on the inner thighs. And then I want you to notice that you're pushing a lot more into the hips, the side that you lean into. So feeling that anchor and your toes are light. Side to side. Good. And on the next one, we're just gonna lift up that right leg and hold and then place it back out. Push and hold. All lower body today. You can do everything we're doing with weight, with heavy weight, with light weight, or with no weight. So you will see me a couple times with no weight. Don't follow me just because I'm doing that. <laughs> Work to your ability today. Two more. Good, now just hold and shift back to the right and to the left. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. Here we go, lift and hold, press it out. Nice. Just recognizing how good you feel. Push and hold. Yes. Move your body. Good. Two more. Last one. And excellent. Now let's take the right leg back and the left leg. So alternating reverse lunges. Just reach the arms to the sky, to the ceiling. Push your chest and your hips forward. So as you're lunging, guys, notice that knee is going lower to the floor, opening the hip flexor. Quadriceps. Perfect. Two more. Here we go. Here's one. And one. <laughs> Another side. Last one on that left. And excellent. All right, guys. So we're going to start off with a pistol squat. This might be a little low for me. So let me grab one more bench. You want your bench to be a little bit. I'm all out. All right. Oh. All right. So you want your bench to be able to sit on it. If you have a lower one, just put some books on it or a pillow. So I'm going to anchor my right foot, and I'm just going to stand straight back up. This foot tries to stay off the ground. Push back. Sit and then push back up. All it is, is a single leg squat. The opposite leg can be out in front. Start from the seated, and then just think of light weight if you have to put any weight on it at all. Resist coming down. So you can do this with weight, no weight, one minute, and then we'll switch to the other side, okay? If your bench is low, probably in no weight, okay? Depends on your strength. Here we go. In five, four. I push that heel right up again. Keep the shoulders up. Standing up. Slowly go down. So spread your toes. Push back. Try to resist dropping the chest too much. So just sit down. Just like you're sitting into a couch, but only with one leg. Nice. So feel that glute on that leg, whatever leg you're using, and hamstring. Slow down. That's the resistance, the eccentric. 30 seconds. So now you know, okay, I feel strong through this. Maybe I need to grab a little more weight. Every leg is gonna feel a little bit different. 
Just recognize what's happening with you. There we go. Digging that thing. Looks good, guys. Last one. Excellent. Just go right into the opposite leg. Keep that foot anchored. Three, two, let's go. Again, these are called pistol squats. Don't ask me where to get the names on some of these, and then you hear other names, and you're like, okay. I remember this squat just being a single leg squat. <laughs> Go. Again, spread your toes the whole time. The toe, the ball of the foot, the pinky toe, and the heel. They anchored into the ground. Nice cat. Power up. Beautiful. Power up. It's a great one to get even more warmed up before we go into lunges. Alternating front and reverse lunge. Both legs. Ooh. Last one. Beautiful. All right. Grab your dumbbells, guys. So if you want to use them, all we're going to do is front and reverse lunge. So front lunge, right leg, down, nice and low, come back, reverse lunge, come back in, opposite side, front lunge, feet together, reverse lunge. Looking for range of motion. We're going to do this for two minutes, so we stay back. Here we go. Front lunge, together, reverse lunge, switch feet, now how big of a step you take, it's feeling good for your body, so your shoulders stay stacked over your hips, heavier weight, light weight, no weight, Quick, but I do want range of motion. I want you to feel the knees tap the floor. I want you to feel the butt squeeze. Feel the hamstring, feel your core. Heart rate gets a little elevated. Yeah, still the day. What happened to? <laughs> Where's my Judy? Nice work, guys. Coming into that last minute. There you go. Are you still getting the exact same range of motion? Good. Got it. Less than 30 seconds. Ooh. This would have been hard for the psycho class and then this. <laughs> right. Last one. Finish it so you're even. I started on my right. Finished on my left. Nice work, guys. All right, so you're going into a side oblique, which is a little bit of um, mop and top love handle oblique, but it's a lot more with feet on the bottom side. So you're here, elbow directly in line with the shoulder. Modified is a bent knee right here. Knee is on the floor. But you're still flat like a piece of glass, okay? You can stagger the feet, you can stack the feet is the hardest. Arms straight up. You're looking for a little dip, but a high hold. Now, look at your hips because I see a lot of people always move their hips forward and back. Hips should be fast, going straight to the ceiling. Top leg has to stay locked out. 
if it starts sending, it's going to help you, and then you won't be recruiting where we really want to work. For one minute, up in that side, down, and lift. It can be a small range of motion. It can be a big range of motion. I'm going to fix my elbow. Down and up. Look down at that beautiful, long piece of glass. Flat as a board. You got it. Lift. Draw the shoulder away from the ears. Good. Remember, where do you regress to? You drop the knee, but you still keep the hips lifted. How can you lift the hip? I feel like I'm barely lifting, but it's okay. Guys, you got less than 20 seconds. Regression, you can just hold. Two, three, two, and release. Excellent. That's all good. Haven't done those in a while. Once again, to the bottom, right here, is where you're pushing. So you're getting a lot, some work through the oblique, a lot of stability here. Going into the other side. Again, 60 seconds. Going in three. Back it. Two. Here we go. Keep your top leg lifted. Keep your shoulders drawn away from the ears. How high can you lift that hip? Keeping them stacked. Everything is tight. Lift the belly button. Baby. Yes, I like it. Come on. Halfway. Yeah. We have donkey kicks in less than 20 seconds. You got it. Lift and hold. Come on. Come on now, let's get a bit higher. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Excellent. All right, so we're going into donkey. Place a heavy weight behind your knee. So if you need some extra towels, get it here. I'm going to grab a heavier weight. I'll sit up with a 20. I want you on your elbows only because it takes away from the pressure of your lower back. If you're up here, a lot of times people collapse like this or they start doing this. So if we bring it down, we can keep that nice long spine. You're gonna take that dumbbell, place it right behind the back of the knee. Try to avoid leaning into the opposite leg so much, but that knee is in line with the hip. Yes, yes. Elbows down, abs are tight. Now, toe. My toe right now is uh, plantar flexion. I want you to dorsal flex, which means that your toe comes towards your shin. Okay, so the heel goes straight up to the ceiling. Not behind you, not out to the side, straight to the ceiling, as high as you can, and then down low, okay? One minute on these, your abs are tight. If you fatigue, range of motion will change. If you need to, you take the weight out and keep moving. Three, two, let's go. You want that big glute max squeeze at the top. Push and hold. Push and hold. Yes. Abs are tight. Notice that your spine is not moving. Just that leg. 30 seconds, guys. Glad I grabbed the 20. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Oh, baby. Ooh, 15 seconds. Crushing it. Good catch. Come on, John. Last one. Hold it up. And release. So when you push that out, take a moment. Knees apart. Child's pose. Push in your hands over to the left side and push into that booty that you just worked. In a jacuzzi being
greeted by two naked models with us on a boot. There we go. All right, guys, let's switch to the opposite side. Ask me what my wish is. I say, go and call you. Just a minute now. Yeah, so one minute. Elbows down, abs are in tight. Let's go. Flex the foot. It's on and pop it, yes. The party's rocking, yes. One side, you may not feel strong. So maybe do a little extra. Like when I say one minute's over, maybe you do a minute, ten seconds. Notice I'm holding it at the top for a hot second. Oh yeah, nice. Heel towards the ceiling. Excellent. 30 seconds down. We have some transverse lunges, some side lateral lunges. Coming up on the other side. We have in tight. Beautiful, guys. 16 seconds. Look out the window and wave at my next to neighbor Oprah. I check this last one. Albums doing today. Oh, excellent. Gently set the knee down, take the weight out, knees apart, child toes. Walk the hands over to the side and push into that booty you just work. Yes, it's on and popping. Yes, the party's rocking. Yes, the cutie's rocking. Oh, nice work, guys. All right, grab those dumbbells. The party's rocking. Yes. What is up? So transverse. Again, I'm starting with my left. I'll choose you right side. So you're going three o'clock. Straight back to center. And then you're going four o'clock. Yes? And then we go the opposite side. So nine o'clock. Come back to center. And eight o'clock. Yes or yes? Guys, keep your back flat. So when I do a side lunge, I push into my hip, so my knees straight forward, transverse, opposite leg locks out. Yes or yes? All right, here we go. Two minutes, three o'clock, let's go. Four o'clock, I got the power. <laughs> Nine o'clock, and eight o'clock. Good, repeat that. Excellent. Not about how low you bring your chest, but how far back you push into the hip and the glute. Inner thigh, outer thigh, hamstring. Yes. Wow. Breathing. Anytime you work legs, yes, your heart rate should get a little more elevated. Do you have to go fast? Nope. Want a bigger range of motion. Feel free to use bigger weights. No weights. Come on. Good, Lene. Here we go. Nice. Got it. You got about 40 seconds. And then we go into bench, toe tap. We did these last week. They're my favorite for that butt area. And then we go into some calves. Not necessarily my favorite. <laughs> like he's hiding back there, right? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> Woo, we'll finish it up. Last one on that left side. Excellent, guys. All right, so, toe tap. I'm gonna use this big one. Don't ask me why I even brought this little one out today. This little guy. Go back over there. So feel free to have your bench next to a wall, just in case you need it. 
So what you're gonna do is be on the top with a weight or not. Opposite leg never puts any weight on it, okay? And I want you to hold a weight or no weight, and you're just gonna push back, try to tap the floor, and then come straight back up. Yes or yes? So when you do these teams, try to touch the floor, but try not to put any weight on that other foot. You're going for 60 seconds. I'm gonna do it with no weight for my first step. You decide if you wanna do weight or not. Anchor that front foot, that top foot on the bench for one minute. Going in three, at the top, lengthen all the way up. Let's go. Low on the down. And yes, you can go a little more power up. So try to avoid any momentum until you have to use the momentum. You need to hold on to the wall. That's welcome. You should right away feel it in your butt cheek. Yes. Keep the knee warm. As a reminder, see if you're increasing your range of motion or is it decreasing. Nice, nice. 15 seconds. Because if your range of motion stayed the same through this minute, maybe grab heavier weight or maybe just grab weight. Yeah, last one. Excellent. Switch it. Let's go right into the other side. Yes, or yes. Here we go. Three, two, and go. So this is my weaker side. So I'm gonna hold on. A lot of times mentally, right? That sets us up. Those expectations, and then we just live by that. It's really kind of pushing where we really can go working through that muscle. Ooh. Come on, left, don't fail me. Nice, halfway. So if you notice, I hip hinge, drop my chest a little forward, reach my hips back behind me to counterbalance. Yes. Keep going, guys. I think I have some people to admit in. I don't like that. You're in our twice, dude. <laughs> Right, 10 seconds, guys. Perfect. All right. So we're going into calf raises. Again, you might need to hold on to something. A weight or no weight. It's up to you. So when you're on the bench, okay, it doesn't matter if you turn it out, turn it in. You just want the ball of your foot to go as much on the bench as you can with your heel still going off. Now, if you drop it low, you're just getting a good stretch. I'm taking the dumbbell on the same side that I'm working. Opposite leg has no weight on it. And I'm just gonna lift up as high as I can and drop back down to where my toes are still anchored on the bed. Yes, yes? So single calf raises for 60 seconds. Here we go. Lift as high as you can, squeeze it, and drop as low as you can, still feeling your toes on the bed. Got a little bit of help from this wall. Ooh. We haven't done these in a while, huh, John? <laughs> they always get me the next day. I always forget about cops. That little area. Ow! Bird! Chase the bird! Come on, we got it. Yes, come on, us. If you need to, you just drop that weight down. It's up to you. Squeeze as low as you can, as high as you can. Three, two, and switch. 
Wow. Nice regression, guys. I like that. All right, team, let's go to the other side. Whew. Are we ready? Thank you, that foot. Down and left. People don't want to think no more, they just want to feel. So again, everybody's you flexibility go. is going to change what kind of range you can give me. But, give that good stretch. Your knee is slightly bent. Softness, good. Oh, so guys, join me on Thursday. And we will be doing upper body. Keep an eye every week on my Facebook page, Show and Improve. I'll try to post, I'm gonna to try to add one more strong in. And they are my strong, so feel free to join. Also in the Renaissance, feel free to join. I know it has an app, but you can still get in because I post the link. <laughs> Lift. Ow! Oh. We all need to work out, right? Last one. Excellent. Nice work. All right, guys, we're back to the pistol squat. So this is a repeat. We're going to move through this a little bit quicker. Feel free. You need to slow it down. Absolutely slow it down. So my pistol squats are still going to be, feels good to sit down, are still going to be with no weight. Just my choice. You decide. You felt strong through those other ones. My legs are a little fatigued from some cycle. All right, so I back that heel right against the bench. Opposite leg is just out. Here we go for one minute. Three, two, let's go. Back. Whoop, whoop. Can you push your opposite leg against your leg that's working? Yes, you can. Again, all you're doing is using that. I'm using my right. You're trying to resist using any part of the muscle of the other leg. Until you fatigue. Down slow. Yes. Ooh, ooh. Oh, yeah. I know my bench didn't move, but I felt the edge there. Good thing I didn't fall. That would have been funny. <laughs> Come on, cat. 15 seconds. Whoop, whoop. A little dance down. Whoop, whoop. Last one. Down slow. Beautiful, guys. All right, let's switch to the other side. I'll show you from the set front. This is a different angle. Three. Nice. So good, girl. You did it. Let's go. So, if I'm adding weight, but that's too much, how can I make this a little tougher without adding weight? You shorten your bench. So you look around the house for maybe something a little bit lower to the floor. That would increase where you can almost go all the way to the floor. Another way of progression, right? Or if I need that regression, I just put a little pillow on top of that bench. All goes up. Yeah. Oh yeah. So as we get older, when we get out of chairs, what do we do? We don't use our legs. We start pushing with our arms. Always think about this. We want to keep the legs nice and strong. Last one. Stand it up. Excellent. All right. Opening lunges. You guys good? Get some water. Two minutes. Alternating. You start where you want to. Going in 10 seconds. Again, think about getting range of motion, tapping that knee to the floor. Squeeze in the butt. Squeeze in the hamstring. Here we go. Three, two, front line. Same leg, reverse lunge. Opposite leg, front line. Same leg, reverse line. Keep 
Keeping your shoulders back over your hips. 30 seconds down. Regression, set those weights down. Again, if your knee is tight, you're gonna feel your knee and that back knee that goes to the floor. So whatever knee's going to the floor, if you feel your quadriceps of your knee, your quads are tight. Keep moving through it. I promise it'll open it up. One minute down. Thanks for doing these lunges with me. I always have good intentions, but lunges and push-ups. When nobody's watching, they never get done. <laughs> I'm always like, oh, that was a perfect 10. I'll just stop there. <laughs> Less than 30. Good. Guys, let's do one more on each side. On. Reverse. Front. Reverse. Go, Nelly. Excellent. All right. Side obliques. We're on track. Whatever side you want to work first, get on it. Pick your poison. Flat as a board. Stack it in three. Two and one. Let's go. Lengthen that top leg. Lock it up. Remember, hands can be here. Hands can be to the ceiling. Nice. Come on, girl. Here's the regression. My knee is down. I'm still flat. Like a piece of glass. Don't lift it. With everybody in my past, don't want to be. Guess what? I made it. I'm the mother man. I just want you to see it. Beautiful. Less than 30 seconds. If you fatigue, just hold. Regress if you need to progress. I'm on my Disney goofy flow. On records, I'm Captain Hook in my new five. Damn, four. Three. Two. That's some really slow counting, huh? And one. And we need. Excellent. Woo. Thanks for joining me today, guys. Please follow me on Instagram, Dr. Fitness by Corey. Follow me. Subscribe to my YouTube. Smash that like button below. Comment. It helps with my algorithm. Help, help, help. All right, last one on the other side. In three, two, let's go side. Elbow plank. Grab the belly button. How high can you get that top hip to the ceiling? Drive it up and through. Up and through. Squeeze. Again, why do I like time for duration versus numbers about quality you feel each one you're not trying to rush through them because you know it doesn't matter you still have to get that 60 seconds Woo. i'm gonna have to regress on this side back. is that top leg locked out less than 15 seconds I'm higher than I ever been. Born rich, Three, uptown, two, and one. Automatic donkey! Candy paint, <laughs> I love donkey on track. <laughs> donkey! All right. Push that dumbbell behind the knee. Elbow plank. Your elbows are down. All right, keeping the abs tight again for one minute. Take your toe towards your chin. Keep your abs in tight. 
very top guys hold it. So a thousand one and then release. Yes, yes. Here we go. Up and release slow. Bring that heel closer towards your butt and then the heel drives to the ceiling. Cat, flex your toe so your toe comes towards your shin. Toe should not be pointing to the ceiling, team. Halfway. Notice the work that's happening on the knee that's down. Holding its stability. Try not to lean too far into it. Pull the abs in tight. Squeeze the kegels. Feel the obliques keeping you center. Last one. Excellent. I don't know about you guys, but those seem to go by pretty fast. Ooh. So once again, if you have a lighter weight, that's all you have, increase the duration. You don't have to stop when I stop. You've got a clock in your house. I know you do. Are we ready? Let's go. Dorsal flexion on your foot. Heel to the ceiling. Hold it up there. Pull the abs in. Boom. So this is a glute max with the top of that butt. Just do what you need, John. <laughs> Halfway. Oh, yeah. Ooh. 15 seconds. I like it, guys. Last one. Oh, excellent. All right. So instead of going right into the transverse lunges, I want to go up on the bench and I want you to do the toe tap and then we'll do the cast and then we see how much time for those transverse lunges we have. All right. So we're going right into the calf. I mean, uh, right into the toe. We grab a little dumbbell. You're up at the top. Anchor that foot. Holding the dumbbell. Hinge forward. Toe tap. Straight back up for one minute. Yes or yes? Here we go. Three. Why? Because these are important. Two. A little bit different area that push. Let's go. The top. Lengthen. And tall. Two legs. And the opposite leg pushes against the bench to hold you. Four. Hang on to a sidewall. Remember, your chest goes forward, flat back. Your butt goes back. Ooh. Yes. Oh. 10 seconds. So good. Come on, through. Yeah. Last one. Beautiful. All right. Switch it up there. Right into the other side. Three, two, let's go. Remember, do you need a rest? All right, this side I can't do any weight. No, you do. You're resting that opposite leg when you're working this one. You just quit. your favorite. 
Now, if you're starting to feel your knee, look down at it. Is it going forward? Is your heel that's on the bench coming up? A lot of times people start driving the knee forward, which is all quadriceps. You want to drive your hips, your butt cheek back away from you. Last one. Excellent. All right. Top raises. And then transverse lunges on your own if you like. And we're done after calf raises, guys. So I'll be able to stretch you just a little bit. Please promise me you will stretch a lot on your own. Whatever calf you want to start with. 60 seconds. Oh, let's go. Lift and lower. Gosh. I was like 20 when this song came out. <laughs> Feels that long ago. Wow. Oh, that cat is like, hello. I'm gonna cramp on you. <laughs> Less than 30. Loosen up my buttons, babe. 15 seconds, yes. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, gonna loosen up my calf. <laughs> Last one. Excellent, guys. Go right into the other side. Three, two, let's go. Lift and lower. Yeah. Remember, foam roller, pedestal. If you're gonna go into the transverse lunges, do not stretch until after you're done, or if you wanna repeat this set one more time, right? Pistol squats, front and reverse lunges, side oblique lift, donkey kick, transverse and side lunges, three o'clock, four o'clock, nine o'clock, eight o'clock. Toe tap, pistol squats, you did those, and then the toe taps that we're doing, and then the so, I'm sorry, the calf that we're doing now. That's your repeat. Feel free. Last one. Excellent. Woohoo! All right, so how do I stretch my calf since we just got off of that? I want you to go into a downward dog, okay? Drive the hips to the ceiling, and then keep going. Push the hips. Now, bend one knee and push the opposite heel into the floor. And just hold this for 10 seconds. Only to where you feel the stretch. You don't have to push the heel all the way to the floor. Good, and switch. Oh yeah, give that calf some love. Shoulders out of the ear. Now, alternate down a couple more times. Walk the dog. Now both heels press to the floor and just hold. Pull the abs in tight, lengthen through the spine. Go ahead, bend the knees, walk the hands all the way back up. So guys, remember, top stretch, or um, quadriceps stretch, hamstring stretch, or hamstring stretch like this. Please make sure you stretch on your own, please, please, please. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. Give me a big inhale. Bring your hands together and down to Heart Center. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great, what day is it? I was telling my husband this morning that it was, um,